All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. Hockey is the most hated sport out of all the professional sports, and I think that's utterly ridiculous considering the fact that it should, by and large, be baseball, but for some reason it's America's pastime. Even though it's definitely the most boring, you know, it's whatever. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not here to argue. I'm here to persuade. I'm going to tell you guys why the NHL playoffs is the best sporting event of the year. It's not really even that close. There are a couple contenders out there. Don't get me wrong. But once you understand hockey, you will never tear your eyes away from that screen. You might you might click away right now because you don't understand hockey, but try to hold on. If you put it in the comments down below, I have no problem making a video explaining what you need to know to make hockey fun. Because I know there's a bit of a learning curve, don't get me wrong. I think that's why most people hate on this sport that is so great. But nonetheless, I think it's about time we dive in and we cover just why you need to turn on your TV tonight and watch some hockey, all right? Let's take it to the whiteboard. All right, it's at times like this I wish I had a bit of bigger whiteboard but we're going to start with the electricity level okay here we've got the max we've got football baseball basketball and hockey here at the end now don't get me wrong i'm a huge football fan wearing patriot shirt you saw that memorabilia in the intro so let's put football somewhere around here okay a lot of it's pretty boring but overall it's a pretty exciting sport baseball we can even put soccer in this category it's about here and these are all highlights okay that's a sad sport we're not even going to worry about this basketball this one this one's fast paced okay i will give it that honestly the majority of basketball because they miss shots too so that's the problem i would i will put it a smidge higher than football just a smidge not by much okay let's shade these in give you guys something to look at now this is where hockey electricity factor okay just the electricity where's the max line right here Okay, we are way up here, okay? If you haven't watched a hockey game, know that there are fights. There is no stop in the action. There is no substitute. There is no time out. The only time it's stopped is when the goalie grabs the puck. So there is no way another sport could beat the electricity level of hockey. Okay, yes, it's very electric. We've covered that. But now we're going to go into the number of scores. Okay, the average game, how much scoring is there? Football, relatively high scoring. Not... Yeah, maybe not that high. Let's put it maybe around here. Okay, there's a good amount of touchdowns. There's good opportunities. You can score a touchdown. You can kick a field goal, safeties, uh, interception returns. You know, the, the defense can score as well. It makes it very exciting. Baseball, like I said, we're still going to leave that as an X, completely irrelevant. Basketball, every single possession, right? So it's up here. It's at the max, which I erased. Okay. That is a max level scoring. I mean, we're getting 200, 300 points a game. I don't know about 300, but if, if the Warriors are playing, it's potential. Okay, so basketball is way up here at the top. Now, hockey, this is where things get interesting. And you're probably thinking, I'm going to put them way up here. No, no, no. Let's be, let's be real here. Hockey is realistically, realistically right around this range. Okay, it's a very low scoring sport. I mean, in, in, in a... In a playoff game, we might only get nine goals at the absolute max, okay? We could be looking at a two, three, four goal game. Now, what's important, okay, obviously everyone gets excited when their football team scores because that's their football team. But that could be applied to any sport, right? Basketball, high paced, it's fast, you know, there's a lot of buckets. They've got the edge here. But in hockey, what you have to account for is how difficult it is to score a goal, okay? Let's envision this is the net, okay? Now, the puck is literally like this big, okay? So there, people are like, you can barely even see how big that puck is. People are like, how could this tiny little puck not get into this big old net, right? We got a basketball hoop, and then like the basketball is like that big, so they're very similar. I mean, football's not really the same thing, but a hockey puck is very small considering how big the goal is. Well, you gotta envision, you know, you got a dude that's like this big right in front of the net leaving like six and a half percent if they're just standing there for the goal to be scored on now keep in mind they're professional athletes and they can move at lightning fast paces so they have to you know they're they're able to get to these corners no problem and they have these huge knee pads that can cover up this bottom half so these guys that are controlling the puck need to have exquisite skill and lightning fast shots I don't know what the actual average is for a, sh a shot speed in the NHL, but it's at least 80 miles an hour. And you probably think I'm lying. That is straight up and down real. 
you're gonna get some 75 mile an hour. You're gonna get some 95 mile an hour. But let's just say it's 80 miles an hour. It's so fast, half the time I'm not even sure if it's scored. It comes in and out of the net, it's like, bing! And then the goal horn sounds, crowd goes crazy. It is so fast and it is so rare that when it happens, the place goes berserk. So, although hockey's graph is much lower, if you take into account the value of the scores, they are up here, okay? By far. All right, our third point is going to be fan engagement, right? Football is so ingrained into American culture that especially if you're a Bills fan or an Eagles fan, like those are the those are some of the best fans on the planet. So they have some here and there and everyone loves football. You I mean, you could bring anyone over and they'll just root for somebody. So I would say football is pretty close to the max, not the absolute max, because you have some guys like Bears fans, Lions fans. I, you know, I sympathize with you guys, but you're not, you know, not super loud about it. You know, if someone asks you about the Bears, you're just kind of like, yeah, we suck, whatever. So you're, you're coming. You, well, it's, it's like football is a little short of max here. Baseball, like I said, um, I think baseball fans are actually ashamed to be a fan of baseball. So I don't know if you can do a negative, kind of like that. They're, they're down here. Basketball fans relatively passionate okay i would say slightly less i would say slightly less than football just by by a hair there now hockey you talk to anybody who has a hockey team anybody who watches hockey they will talk your ear off if you have any semblance of knowing what hockey is so what is max here we are like here okay hockey fans love hockey they know all the stats about their teams they know exactly which moves their their gm needs to make to make it the best team out there why every single other team is not as good as theirs hockey fans are undefeated okay so the whiteboard basically told us why i think the nhl really has one of the strong cases for being one of the best sports out there it has a lot of games very fast fan bases are electric okay we've covered that but i started this video by saying the nhl playoffs were one of the best events of the year let me, let me tell you why. Okay, some people are gonna tell me March Madness. Yeah, fair. Super Bowl, definitely up there, probably top two. Masters, also a very good event if you are a dimple head. Okay, now, the NHL playoffs are just as long. They're, they're pretty long, okay, so you, you get to pick your team, you get to ride with them all the way through. That's, I mean, any playoffs is like that. But, they're all seven game series. See so how you get those electric game sevens just like you do in basketball, okay? It's faster paced than any other sport. There's fighting on literal blades on ice. So the danger factor is like a billion. I mean, I've seen three guys get knocked out on the ice aside from fights. Okay, so we know that there is a level of danger in this sport. And I think that's what a lot of Americans like. Look at football, for example. That's, I mean, look at the CTE coming out of that. Um, so I, I think NHL playoffs is something that everyone needs to take a look at. You might not have a team. You might not understand what's going on. Like I said, leave a comment below. Then I will make a video if everyone's like, hey, I don't even know hockey, please. I would love to get into it. Just tell me how it goes. Okay, I can do that. We'll bring out the whiteboard again, no issues. Okay, you don't have a team? Fine, go ahead. We did a whole recap on my channel on the whole NHL playoffs. You can pick a team that's left, no big deal. Okay, so the NHL playoffs just needs more of a chance. More people need to be talking about how epic this playoff run is. We see Cinderella teams this year. We've seen three that should not be in the second round, and they're, they're hanging. Two of the three won their first game. So I'm asking you, please, just give the NHL playoffs a chance. Okay, granted, the intermissions may be ridiculously long. But guess what? You could do anything with that time. You could write a paper if you're a college student. You could go play with your kids if you're a dad or a mom. There's so many things you can do in that time. You don't have to sit there and listen to the talking heads tell you why this guy is the best center in the whole league or whatever they're talking about. I don't know. I don't really listen either. So here's the thing. You turn it on. You give it a chance. I think you'll like it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Share this video. Blah, blah, blah. Leave a comment down below if you don't understand hockey, okay? With that all being said, let's go cracking, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.